Grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you, dear brothers and sisters. Today we celebrate the memory of Our Lady of Lourdes. In 1854, the dogma of Mary was immaculately conceived, was promulgated by Pius the Ninth in In Efe Philus Deus. And after four years, that was in 1858, from 11 February to July, God willed Mary the Most Holy to appear to little Bernadette at Massabel, Lourdes in France, 18 times. So this was the confirmation given by our Blessed Mother to the promulgation of the faith of the Church. And she had appeared to little Bernadette and to the whole Church to strengthen the faith of the Church and its people. So from then on, so many healings and miracles took place in that place. Lourdes was then an obscure village in France, but after the apparition of our Blessed Mother, it has become the most visited shines of the world. So many miracles take place in that place. Every year the medical team at Lourdes record more than 5,000 healings. It all because of the intercession of our Blessed Mother. Today we reflect in a Marian feast breeding, the marriage at Cana. When we look closely at the marriage at Cana, Mary, Jesus and his disciples were invited for the marriage. During the marriage dinner, the family had a peculiar problem of shortage of wine. Mother Mary noticed that it was not humanly possible for the family to go and buy such an amount of wine for the people. When there was a situation, the thing that could not be achieved by human minds and human efforts, Blessed Mary entered into the place. She brought the problem to our Blessed Lord and our Lord solved it. So when we ref reflect on this particular incident, our Blessed Mother was always behind us, looking at us, looking all our affairs in this world. When there were to be a situation that certain things that could not be solved by human minds and human efforts, our mother enters into the field and she shoots down any kind of problem. So, we have an intercessor. We have a powerful intercessor every day, every minute. We have a person who always follows us, observes us, 
looks at us at us ready to help us so let us thank the lord for the gift of our blessed mother the powerful intercessor for our life so let us dedicate specially our hearts our life especially the many of the sick people today that through the powerful intercession of our blessed mother may all of them be healed that is pray heavenly father we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us thank you lord for giving us our blessed mother as a powerful intercessor at the foot of the cross thank you lord for this beautiful day by reflecting the faith of blessed mother and in turn the faith of the mystery of the salvation thank you lord for revealing your mystery through your human form and you have done so many miracles when you were born as a human person thank you lord for coming down as a human person and we are healed and redeemed by your blood we ask this through christ our lord